Hello. How we doing, folks? Good to see you. Ooh, there's a little sun behind me. Well, that's kind of neat. That'll go away soon. Don't worry. Um, but uh, how we doing? Today's Monday. Um, I went back to work today, which made me very sad. But it was actually a pretty good day. Um, nothing too crazy happened, so I was pretty happy about that. Um, let me know how your day was. But today, last time we were together, we ended in Olivine City. We had just defeated Chuck, and we flew on back across the ocean. And here, I just went up north just a little bit because we are going to finish feeding this mill tank berries. Moo. It should only take two more. There we go. You get that little Pokemon Center noise. And then its cry is going to be regular. That's what that's supposed to sound like. So now we can go over to Farmer Brown over here. How'd you like my Moo Moo milk? It's my pride and joy there. Give it to Pokemon to restore HP. It'll give it to you for just $500. Poke dollars, poke yen, whatever you call it. Um, but yeah, you would think maybe he could sell you more than just one for all the work of getting the berries and feeding them to the milk tank. Maybe you'd be able to like continually buy them, but no. But maybe not at that price too, because that's a really good price for 100 HP. So we got a Moo Moo Milk now, which is lovely. Um, another thing I want to show you is I'm going to double check. I'm pretty sure the Haircut Brothers aren't here on Mondays. Um, I'm just going to give it a look-see. Yep, they're not there. But one thing we can do is this is something that I did not show earlier. And if we scoot on over here, there is a house right here. And this lady will actually check the friendship of your Pokemon. And if we go here, there's actually a good little happiness guide that I found. And so, talk this lady. She says, if you treat your Pokemon nicely, they will love you in return. Oh, let me see your Eevee. It's quite cute. So, um, when it says it's quite cute... That means its happiness level is between 100 and 149. To get it to evolve, I'm pretty sure it has to be above 200. I'm almost certain. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Ah, your happiness quota has to be 220. So right now we are between 100 and 150, basically. So we still have a little ways to go on Eevee. I'll still keep giving Lucius those haircuts off stream. I will keep giving them haircuts on stream. Um, and I will keep walking around. Oh, something else you can do to increase friendship, and I'll do this right now. Uh, not here. This does cost a lot of money, but I'm going to go ahead and buy one because we have it you can buy vitamins. And here I am going to increase Lucius's special stat because we are going to evolve him into an Espeon. Really be able to hit hard with those psychic attacks um, once we finally evolve. But let's see, let me go back here. Lovely. So let's give this to our special boy. There you are, Lucius. Um, okay, so to continue on, we are going to head on back to Olivine City. Oh, I love being able to fly. It is so gorgeous. Mm. So now we have the secret potion from across the ocean. Potion from across the ocean. In Seanwood. <laughs> so now we're going to scoot through the lighthouse again. We've already defeated all the trainers. So we don't really have to worry about that. Sorry, I'm speeding through a little bit because we're just going in circles. There we go. And we just go back the way we came. And thankfully I have that memorized. Here you are, my lady. Will that medicine cure Amphi? Absolutely it will. 
Um, please don't be offended. Amphi will not take anything from anyone but me. How are you feeling? Ah! Amphi's great! Palupalulu! <laughs> Can light up the lighthouse again! Oh, that's so great. So then she goes back to the gym. Jasmine is kind of portrayed as like a very quiet, reserved powerhouse trainer. I love Jasmine. She's one of my faves ever. Um, let's see. Yep, and you'll light up again. Like your lighthouse. Huzzah. Ba -da -do. Boo -do. Boo. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Um, but like I said, we are not going to fight Jasmine right now. Because Jasmine would just completely wreck us as currently constituted. So what we gotta do is we gotta go back to Ecruteague City. And we need to scoot on over here. If you recall... Oh. Just vibing. Yo, yo! Thanks for being here. Um, Mount Mortar, waterfall cave inside. So what you can do, this is a place called Mount Mortar. It's a very kind of like intricate cave. Um, it, there's really only just like extra items in there. There is one specific thing way deep in the um, cave. You can fight a karate master and he will give you a Tyrogue, which is a Pokemon that can evolve into either Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee, or the new Pokemon, Hitmontop, which I love. I love Hitmontop. He's not very good, but I love him. Um, and that's kind of like the prize for exploring Mount Mortar. What you can do, usually I want to have Surf to just surf right over the water here, but you don't need it. Um, you can just walk through Mount Mortar a little bit if you want to walk over to Mahogany Town here. Oh, and as you can see, here's another, uh, okay. So there's another little Suicune encounter there. It'll just run away. It's not anything crazy. And then you see, it'll come talk to you. But we don't have cut because my wife's in the PC. Um, so we'll go great. Well, we can do that later if we want. And we can, what creature did you become when you swam? Oh, um, so, Every time you surf, it shows this little icon, which is a Lapras. But technically, this is the same icon that would show up no matter what Pokemon you're surfing on. But we just so happen to be surfing on an actual Lapras. Um, which is... You thought it was Lapras, of course! Pampras the Lapras is our, is our boy. Um, <laughs> you did not. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, uh, but yeah, Pampras no surf. It's just kicking butt. Crap! I know, I'm sorry. Um, it's just kicking butt and taking names right now. I love this music. The music on this route up uh, toward the Lake of Rage, which we will run into. Love it so much. Um, so let's pop on right here. Do a little courtesy save. Ah, this guy. This guy is actually really important. And I'm not sure if I can cheese it with the ROM or not. Actually, we're going to test it. Because this guy and a few other people will give you an evolution stone if you uh, get their phone number, maybe. Croy. <laughs> yes. Um, oh, LaCroix, I see. Um, but, uh, dang it, Lucius. LaCroix. Oh, yes! Ah, yes. Yes. It's off-brand, um, cause we ain't rich, but, uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> there you go, Lucius. All right, I gotta heal that poison off on Lucius, cause I don't want him to be mad at me. Oh, my mom! Ah, uh, useful item shopping. Kroiger. <laughs> yes, that's where we get our seltzers from. We get our LaCroix from Kroiger. Uh, let's see. All right, so Lucius is cured of poison. That's all my antidotes, but that's okay. I have a couple poison cure berries there, and we're gonna get to the point in the game where we can buy full heals before too long. 
Um, and then I'll kind of sell my paralyzed heals and stuff like that. Um, what was I about to do? Oh, yes. So, sometimes these people can call you and they'll be like, Hey, I found an item. And it's an evolution stone, which is crazy rare in this game. And this is the guy that gives you um, a water stone. Yes, finding the items by the water, I'll give me give you some. Ba, 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 ba. And I'm gonna test something right now because something that I have done with this emulator before is if I close this and then I reopen it, the one person that the one phone number that I have might call me instantly. Nope, didn't work. <laughs> That's okay, I'm glad we didn't count on that then. Um, great. I know. It's very unfortunate. Uh, we'll go ahead and keep Lucius in the front. I think this person just has... Anita Reno and Anita Rena. And then he laments that he doesn't have a... Uh, whatchamacallit, Moonstone to evolve him. So as you can see, this Need Arena is at level 16. And, yeah, this will be super effective. Yeah, but we're fine. And that does not get the same type of attack bonus. Um, so you'll find that this Need Arena is at level 16 because you can get over here before you cross the ocean, before you fight Chuck, before you do all that. There you go, Lucius. We'll get you out of here because you can't die. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so we'll get Sinai Quill some levels because, again, Sinai, Sinai Quill is really weak right now. Quick Attack, Ember, and Mud Slap is not a great set <laughs> of moves for this point in the game at level 25. Um, um, he's going to learn a nice fire type move at level 31. Um, and then again, when he evolves, we can upgrade even further. But until then, we're still kind of hoofing it as far as Quilava goes. So if you do this on your playthrough, you will encounter that uh, pain as well. Um, and as a matter of fact, um, Charmander in the Gen 1 games is kind of the same way. Uh, there's just kind of like a big gulf between its first fire move and its next fire move. So kind of in the middle of the game, it's not very strong. And again, like like we see here, this is a level 14 Diglett. This Surf will just annihilate it. Um, Geodude, again, doesn't stand a chance against Pampras in our Surf. Not even a prayer. But yeah, this is kind of what I was talking about. Um, things were a little bit tougher um, over in the Chuck area, but now that we are getting over here, things are a little weaker and this is you know another criticism people kind of have of the generation 2 games for as much as they are beloved um here we are in mahogany town Ooh, is this what it's, it's i love like the little town placards they have mahogany town welcome to the home of the ninja which is very cool uh, Mahogany Town is really tiny. This is literally it, like these four houses. And this guy, what's he say? He won't let you pass. Hi, a kid. I see you're new in Mahogany Town. Since you're new, you should try a Yummy Rage Candy Bar. Right now, it can be yours for just $300. Uh, Rage Candy Bar is actually pretty good. Um, we're actually going to buy a couple. Because a Rage Candy Bar functions like a full heal. It um, can heal any status ailment. I don't know how many that is, but I'll buy one more. At least I'm... Oh, wait, no, I might be wrong. I might be thinking of something else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it only heals your HP by 20. That's not very good at all. <laughs> what was I thinking of? Oh, my... I was thinking of a lava cookie. Ah. Uh, that's Generation 3. Hadoi. I never buy the Rage Candy Bars. That's why. That's not very good, kids. Don't buy those. Don't do what I do. Have I ever even played this game? I know. I know. I deserve it. I really do. But Mahogany Town is so small, it doesn't even have a mart. It's just got the Pokemon Center over here. Bad and ba. 
So we go over here and I believe... Yes, there's this guy. Since you came this far, take the time to do some sightseeing. You should head north and check out Lake of Rage right now. Ooh, how intriguing. Um, do I have any Pokeballs? I have four. I might grab more. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. And while I'm at it, I'm probably going to sell some of those Rage candy bars. <laughs> I'm going to sell them all, actually, which is a big waste of money, but oh well. Uh, let's see. Yes, I'll buy a couple Great Balls here. And you'll see why. I'll just buy four. So I definitely lost money on that deal, kids. Oh, kids. Kids. So we'll fly back to Mahogany Town. So this guy's telling us to go north, but first I want to show you this. We have, while visiting Mahogany tra Town, try a Rage Candy Bar. No thank you, it's a ripoff. That music sounds scary. <laughs> the experiment worked like a charm. Magic Harbor just worthless, but Gyarados are big money makers. Ooh, that sounds sketchy. Welcome, how might I help you? And this guy's selling some like random kind of like a slowpoke tail. Remember, Team Rocket was cutting off slowpoke tails and trying to, and trying to sell them. We don't want to buy a slowpoke tail. So this is a sketchy place. Let's get out of here. So we're gonna hop up north here. This is just the spirit of adventure, this song. Gosh. So good. Oh, I forgot I had a rebel on it all. Uh, ba -da -da. So we have a couple of um, battles. <laughs> Sorry, I just kind of froze there. You do feel inspired. I'm so glad. Thank you for feeling inspired. It inspires me every time. So, we're gonna fight this guy. And I'm actually gonna show something off to you. Um, and it's something that I know to never do. I knew he started with a sand shrew, so I started with a little pampras. What does he have next, though? A Zubat. Let's get Margo in the fray. This should probably take it out. Yeah, Margo is just a complete tank, a complete beast, a complete uh, unit, if you will. She's awesome. I love her. Sand Slash. So for Sand Slash, we'll go back out to Pampers. That'll be another quick knockout. Oh, I love that. That Sand Slash does. Another, just one of the reasons that I wanted this game. Ah. If you recall, if you... uh watched Saturday's episode. I was feeling a little under the weather. I'm still feeling a little bit sick, a little stuffy, a little, uh, you know, a little gross in the nose area, but I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm feeling better, thankfully. So here, this says, all Pokemon have pros and cons, depending on their types. If their types differ, a higher level Pokemon may lose in battle. Learn which types are strong and weak against your opponent's type. It's great advice. So here, going through this house, I know to never go through this house, but let me show you what happens when you go through this house. Hold it there, kiddo. The toll is $1,000 to go through. Thank you very much. Ew! So they just steal $1,000 from you. I don't even know if I had. I barely had $1,000 to give. No wonder I'd never go through there. Dang. So some Team Rocket goons are in that checkpoint. If you don't know any better, that just sucks. <laughs> but you can always go through uh, the grass on the left. Um, let's pop a Super Repel. I'm going to have to get more before too long, but I'm running out of money. I'm buying all those Rage Candy Bars and Team Rockets jumping me. Ba -da 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 -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, I thought she just had a Clefairy. Um, there are some pretty cool Pokemon that you can catch through here. You can catch the Psychic-type Girafferig. At least I'm pretty sure you can in Crystal. I know you can in other games. Maybe you can't in Crystal. I'd have to look that up. 
But Giraffe Rig is a really cool psychic type. It's a psychic normal type, and it's just a cute little giraffe. It's wonderful. Uh, maybe I'll uh, not have a rappel on my way back, and I can maybe show you. Um, so that's what you can find on this route. Um, in other games, you can find Flaffy on this route, which is the evolved form of Mareep, which is great. Uh, da -da. We'll keep Lu uh, Rupert Grunt in the front, because he's pretty. Rupert Grunt in the front! Grunt in the front! Grunt in the front! Sorry. But he's pretty versatile. And against this normal type Lickitung, Rock Smash is going to be lovely. Mm. Even got the defense drop. Love to see it. Boom. Goodbye. Yeah, I remember when uh, we tried to teach Dynamic Punch and Rupert couldn't learn it. At this point, I don't even know if I would want to teach Rupert Dynamic Punch. Just because it's so inaccurate. I like having Rock Smash being really consistent. One of these guys has a Nido King, and one of these guys has a Slow Bro. I don't know which one. I'm gonna put some Nyquil in front. Some PP -pee -pee guy made fun of my Pokemon. Darn it, my Pokemon's great! You're right, dude! PP's -pee a loser! We know that guy. I swear, yeah, you got a Nido King! That thing is sick! Come on now. Don't let anyone get you down. Especially not some loser named PP. -pee -pee. Yes, I don't know... Yeah, I don't think this King has any ground-type moves at the moment to hurt us with. So we're just gonna mud-slap him to death. Maybe we'll get a miss. Apparently not. No misses at all! All those mud-slaps. Wow! Um, it was actually pretty useful to teach Sinequil mud-slap. That nice little bit of ground coverage is always great. It would obviously be more powerful on a ground Pokemon, but what can you do? Alright, so we're gonna go into Margo. Because this guy has a slow growl. So, what's happening at Lake of Rage is that it is a big lake, it's really nice, and it has all these Magikarp in it. But for some reason, all of the Magikarp are being forced. To evolve, and that's not what we want to do. We don't want to force Pokemon to evolve. They'll evolve when they're ready, you know, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that's a problem. So we kind of got to solve that problem. And when we get up to the Lake of Rage, there's a very special Pokemon that we are going to run into. That's why I wanted to pick up a couple, uh, a couple Great Balls. And let me show you. Because right up here, Lake of Rage, here we are. This guy. The Gyarados are angry. It's a bad omen. Okay. Well, what happens when we surf out into the Lake of Rage? Oh. Why, it's a Gyarados. Um, let's see. So Margo's in the front. This is another Pokemon that I don't always use, but I always catch. Because it's such an iconic, like, static encounter from the original games. It's wonderful every time. Wonderful every time. So this is the red Gyarados. If you recall, Gyarados is usually blue, but this one's red because it is a shiny Pokemon. Generation 2 introduced shiny Pokemon, and they are rare variants that you can find of Pokemon. Any Pokemon you find in the wild, I'm pretty sure, you can find a shiny variant of it. It's just extremely rare. Forgive me, I don't know the actual odds off the top of my head. Um, I know some people do, because some people just, like, hunt shinies. Um, like, that's a whole, that's a whole, like, community on the internet of people that shiny hunt Pokemon. Um, but for many players, the Red Gyarados was the first shiny Pokemon they ever saw. Um, and that's why it's super special. And you have this really powerful, boom, right on time. That's right, you caught the Red Gyarados. Good to see ya. Um, but, uh, yes, for many people, it was their first introduction to a shiny Pokemon, which is super cool. And we are going to use our next Pokemon. We don't want to hurt Gyarados too much more. Um, we're going to do a quick attack. Ooh, okay, good. Because once Gyarados runs out of Thrash, which he will this turn, 
Um, oh yes, you do. Oh yes, I remember you were talking about that. Yes, I will let I will give that a nice long play after we hopefully catch the red Gyarados here. I might use that Ultra Ball. Mmm. Dang it. Don't hurt yourself. Don't hit yourself, Gyarados. Okay, good. That is one thing that you can encounter. I'll use our Ultra Ball here. Nice. Um, yes. <laughs> Um, that is one thing you can encounter with the Red Gyarados is... Yes, but I got it! That's right. Um, it can accidentally kill itself with uh, hurting itself in confusion because it likes to use Thrash. Um, but it's so great because you get this really cool shiny Pokemon basically for free. Um, it's at level 30, which is a really good level at this point in the game. Oh, what's a, what's a name for our Red Gyarados that we're not going to use? But what's a name for it? Sorry, I don't know... Drago! I love it! I love it! Um, let's see. Love to see it. Alright. So that's the Red Gyarados, and then you get this item called the Red Scale, and we can give this um, to someone, and they will give us something in return. So now there's this guy here. This lake is full of Gyarados, but nothing else. So, the Magikarp are being forced to evolve. Did you come here because of the rumors? Your SCG? I'm Lance. A trainer like you. Hmm. So, if you've never played this game, you might be just like, oh, who's this Lance guy? Um, I would say Drago, but dealer's choice. Oh, I mean, you know. You know. Um, Lance, if you've never played this game before, you'd be like, oh, who's this Lance guy? But if you remember from our Pokemon Yellow playthrough, Lance was in the Elite Four. So this guy's a big deal. And he wears a cape. Just in regular life. Dude just likes wearing a cape. You do you, Lance. So I came to investigate. I saw the way you battled earlier. He saw us battle. <laughs> what a freak. <laughs> I know. He would have gotten shoved into a locker at school. And that does make me sad. Because, you know, Lance can wear a cape if he wants. Um... Let's see, I can tell that you're a trainer with considerable skill. If you don't mind, you can help me investigate. Ah, sure, dude. Excellent. It seems that the lake's magic are being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcast coming from Mahogany is the cause. I'll be waiting for you, SCG. But where is he waiting for us? What does this say? Lake of Rage, also known as Gyarados Lake. Oh yeah, here's that track for you, Tech. Oh, I love vibing to the music. Oh yeah, I said I'd pop down here. Oh yes, absolutely. I said I'd pop down here because I know I have my super repel up. Hold on. There we go. Because I know that there are... Um, you can find like Noctowl, for instance. Also, Tech, help me out. Um... Can you find Giraffe Rig in crystal here? Or is that just like in silver or gold? I don't remember. Gold, okay, that's what I thought. Um, so yeah, we can't find a Giraffe Rig here. But uh, if you want, there is something called the internet. It's very useful. Um, if you're dying, I know, if you're dying to see what a Giraffe Rig looks like, you can, you can go ahead and look it up if you'd like. It's very cute. Um, but yeah, I, I was saying, one of these days we'll have to play, uh, Gold or Silver or the remakes, um, so we can see some of the, like, Gold or Silver exclusives. Like, I want to run the game with Marie, but can't find one in Crystal, which is a shame. Oh, hi, Tully! It's a great night for fishing! Ah... He has no water stone to give us. And 100% your decks. Dude, that is never something I have been like, ugh. That has always been like so tedious to me, I've never wanted to do it. Um, okay, so before we do what's next, I am going to just pop in here. I just wanna buy more super repels just cause I'm thinking about it. Um, we can't buy that many. We'll buy however many we can, six. 
Oh, also something else I want to show you guys um, that you can do before we do our next thing. Um, no, hey, no. Get... I never get tired of the game either. I just keep restarting it and restarting it and restarting it. That's my version. <laughs> That's how I never get tired of it. Um, so if you come in here, you have your mom. And she goes, hi, welcome home. You're trying very hard, I see. I've kept your room tidy. So when your mom saves your money, your mom is kind of just like a bank account here. And if you look, we got tons of cash just sitting with our mom. So I'm going to take some of that out, and now we're rich! Um, I don't want to waste all the money right now, but I mean, it's pretty good. Because um, it's nice to, even even when you're, you're saving money with your mom and she's buying items, it's always nice to kind of have that, like, extra little reserve. I don't know. I like it, anyway. So now we'll fly back to Mahogany. And if you recall... Those guys were being real sketchy in this house over here, so, uh, I wonder, uh, what's going on? I wonder if they're okay. Dragonite Hyper Beam? Oh my gosh! He just murdered that man! Sorry, I burped in the middle of that. What took you, SCG? Just as I thought, the strange radio signal's coming from here. So this, uh, this guy in the cape is dangerous. The stairs are right here. <gasps> SCG, we should split up to check this place. I'll go first. This guy goes, Ugh, you found the secret stairway. Rip Rocket, dude. Let's talk to him. Let's see if he's dead. Oh, no, he's not dead. He's just hurt. He's just maimed. <laughs> that guy's dragon Pokemon are tough. Yeah, I know, dude. We defeated them in Pokemon Yellow. Let's see. So now we're going to go down here. And we know that there's some rockets around because they were on the way to... Lake of Rage, and now we have these weird statues. <laughs> like, to imagine he lost an arm or a leg or something? Yeah, he's just bleeding out. Um... Oh! Hey, intruder alert. So, I'll save you the trouble. This guy is gonna explain it, but every time you walk in front of those statues, it triggers two battles with a rocket grunt, with two different rocket grunts. First guy starts with a drowsy, Second guy starts with something else, I don't remember. But... Ooh, nice, Margo. And it's pretty annoying. Let's see, Zubats. And again, this is a great... It's only once per statue. Oh, wow. Um, but, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, you're right, because they, they keep going like, we'll keep appearing until you turn a secret switch. But once you hit the statue, they don't like... If you could leave and come back and you won't run into rockets again. Um, I, I do forget that we have the charcoal for our Sinaiklo. So our, so our ember is not too terrible. We just, need a, we just need a decent matchup. Dang, I failed. So then you get another rocket fight, and you're, you, like, can't move. Like, once that alarm is going off, it's not really letting me move. So, this guy starts with a Zubat. We got Margo in front here. That's going to be a one-shot. It's going to be a one-shot every time. Like I said, Margo is just, uh... uh Margo's uh, built different, you know? So this is Pursuit. This is a uh, pretty weak, dark-type move. I don't know if we're going to teach it. Maybe we will. Hmm. I don't know. Should we teach Margo Pursuit? It's not really going to be a move we use a lot. It would it would have come in real handy in Morty's Gym. Oh, explain what it does. Of course! So Pursuit is a weak dark type move, but the advantage that it has is if your opponent is about to switch out, it does double damage because it, like, pursues you. Pursuit, you know. Um, but... A lot of the AI trainers don't really switch, and it's going to be a really weak move on Dunsparce. I'd rather keep this set because we might use that defense curl later. So we're not going to learn Pursuit. Let's see, Grimer. Oh, this will be good for Semiclo's Mud Slap once again. Or just Ember. Ember is going to be better here. There we go. That'll be a two-shot. Harden, please. Defense, we're attacking your special defense. You kidding me? Goodbye. 
Um, so yeah, these, these rocket grunts are pretty weak, but it is pretty annoying that you have to fight a few of them. However, I am going to show you something. Where am I going? Rupert Grunt. We should be able to knock this out in just about one rock smash or so. There we go. Love to see it. So this guy goes, Surveillance cams are in the Pokemon statues. We'll keep appearing until you trip a secret switch. So now I can move again. So if I walk in front of another one of those statues, I am going to trigger another two Team Rocket battles. But I am going to show you something. We have this guy that's hanging out down here. And... No, we have not evolved Lucius. Lucius still isn't, uh, Lucius isn't super close. Um, cause I did the friendship checker and it just said that he looks cute, which means still about a hundred or so friendship points away. So what we can do here is we can fight this guy. This was once a ninja hideout. There are traps to confound intruders like you. Um, I fed him a calcium today. I just haven't had a ton of money to buy them. Um, I'm sure there's more I could find. Uh, this guy has a Magnemite. This is not going to be great for Lucius. So let's just go into Rupert so we can hit that super effective, um, Rock Smash. There we go. Ooh, excuse me. Um, I hate being confused, guys. I hate it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> And unfortunately, today is Monday again, so we can't give him his haircut. Um, Magnemite, this is great for Sinaquil. Because it is cool for Magnemite that it gains that steel type, because of course, look at it, it's made of metal. But that does make it four times weak to ground moves. Which, yeah, honestly, Ember probably would have killed it, but what can you do? We'll use that must slap again. There we go. What's his last Pokemon? Does he just have... Yeah, he just has three Magnemites. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll actually test it out. Would an Ember have killed the other Magnemite? So, tonight? Hmm. I don't know if we'll have time to defeat the Rocket Hideout tonight. If not, I might, I might leave you all on a cliffhanger tonight. We'll see. Um, so, what you can do is... We'll just grab this item real quick. A guard spec. Like, these items aren't bad. I just never use them. Oh, we can go here to the computer. A secret switch. Better press it. Ah, so there is your secret, secret switch. Secret switch. <laughs> that the guy was talking about. So now I can walk in front of this statue. Nothing happens, because I tripped the switch. Hyper potion. Very useful. I might have to toss that guard spec. Or... Um, oh, yes, X accuracy in Gen 1. That's actually a really good point. Um, in Gen 1, X accuracy pretty much makes it so you can't miss at all. And you can use an X accuracy with, like, Horn Drill, which is a one-hit KO move. I know people will do that on speedruns, because um, they'll speedrun with, like, a Nidoking and teach it horn drill and then they can use an x accuracy and it just never misses um so now we have our boy lance here are you all right your pokemon are hurt and tired here give him some of my medicine excuse me <coughs> sorry still sneezing so lance gives you a heal here we might have to pop out of the hideout and heal again at some point because i want to try to fight a lot of the rocket goons in here because there's a lot of experience to be had um And by, sw by flipping that switch, you do miss a lot of, you know, rocket fights. Which isn't a huge deal, but you don't want to skip too many trainers. Because especially as you get kind of toward the end of the game in this game... I don't know why you're using Foresight, Ben and Matt. You can already hit me. Does Shadow Ball kill it? It will. Right. Again, I promise Shadow Ball is going to pay off <laughs> on Lucius. <laughs> I'll keep him in for this. Because these Venonats are not too terribly threatening. There we go. Quick attack will do it. Love to see it. 
But yeah, I never use battle items like guard spec or X attack, X accuracy. Um, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> There's just a really loud duck <laughs> outside my door. Not my door, my window. Um, and I was just like, what is that? Um, I am actually happy the ducks are back. We have like a little creek that... Sorry, I'm sneezing. <coughs> Sorry. Is there a hidden item here? No. We have a little creek that runs behind our apartment. Um, <laughs> yeah, he wants to be on stream. That's right. It's a far fetch. Um, uh, so we have this little creek runs behind our apartment. It is really nice when it's full. Like after it's rained, it's look. It looks really pretty. Um, and you know when the winter months are over, the there is a duck Pokemon. His name is Farfetched, or Psyduck. Uh, I know both are like duck Pokemon. Um, Psyduck's very famous. But uh, oh <laughs> yeah. Um, but. Uh, now that spring is coming here in Ohio, uh, the ducks and the birds are coming back, and it's really, really beautiful. Um, I really, 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 really enjoy the seasons. Because um, I used to live in California, um, and I still know people that live out there, you know. I'm not trying to dump on it too much. It wasn't for me. But... Uh, when I lived there, it was sunny all the time, and I didn't really like it. In the winter, it could get cold like at night. Hold on. Lance, it takes two passwords to get into the boss's quarters. Those passwords are known only to a few rockets. That rocket there very graciously told me so. SCG, let's go get the passwords. Sounds awesome. We're on a mission. So this guy is just, he, yeah, he's still, he's still, he's still reeling. Um... Insane sunburns in California. Yeah, it's always super sunny, and I just don't like it. Um, I like having the seasons. I mean, I do get sad during the winter like a lot of people, so this lady knows a password. But no, weakling's gonna get it. Hey! I'm not a weakling. Um, but this lady's got an Ekans and something else. But yeah, when I lived out there, I didn't like that there were no seasons, um, specifically at Christmas time, because I'm like, okay, Christmas is coming up, but nothing is changing, <laughs> you know? Um, with the gloom, we can go into Sinaiquil, hit it with those fire moves. I feel like we haven't really been able to use Ember, Ember, too much lately. Ba -da -da. Perfect. So then, once we thrash her, the password in the boss's room is Slowpoke Tail. Ugh. You terrible people stealing those Slowpoke Tails. I loved discovering that you can find that little note on that one Slowpoke. Um, let's see. So we have this guy. Nothing too crazy here. Okay, coughing, though, can explode. So I am not messing around with that at all on Lucius, because that could kill Lucius and really set back our friendship. We don't want to do that. We are really into the power of friendship. We love anime in this in this house. Um, yes, I, I thought that was so cool, that little note. I loved that. Um, another coughing, another surf will do it. So yes, I promise the battles will get tough again. Um, especially because I'm going to try to not um, over-level too much. I remember this guy has a ditto. So I'm going to fight this guy with Rupert Grunt should be able. I, Dude, I love Attack on Titan, but don't say anything about it because I am not far. I am not far into it. I am only like... Um, I'm only, like, a, a, around ten episodes deep. So, I'm basically to the point, like, I imagine you like it since you're asking about it. <laughs> so, I don't I don't want to give anything away to you either. There we go. So, Ditto will transform into Rupert Grunt, but we're still going to knock it out. Easy. Um, got most of the way through. It gets hard to follow toward the end. Okay. Um, well, because I started it a long time ago... But it was just so just back-breakingly sad. 
those first couple episodes. And it's just, it's real, man. It's really all about, like, the horrors of war and, like, humanity's desire to go on in the midst of just horrible, horrible things. Um, so, yeah, I'm to the part, like, where Aaron, like, first joins the Survey Corps, so I'm not very far. Um, so I'm excited to get farther. I'm, I'm watching it with a friend, and so we're kind of working our way through it slowly. We meet, like, once a week to watch it, which is great. Um, first episode, like, I'm never watching this again, then I couldn't stop watching. I am the exact, I was the exact same way, because once I picked it up again, I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna, t I'm just gonna toughen up and get through it because it's just so good um yuck 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 this is a, a special fella here i'm pretty sure we fight him in slowpoke well yuck 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 the password of the boss's room is uh i think it's radicate tail and it is exactly you're right um so here's another x item probably not gonna use that oh a protein i will give this to lucius especially to power up that shadow ball and increase that friendship. Boom, there it is. Um, but yes, Attack on Titan is a wonderful show. Um, like I said, if any of you are thinking about watching it, it's a very sad, very kind of like brutal, like emotionally, oh, there's an item over here, I think, yes. Full heal, that's what we want. Very sad, very like emotionally brutal. Um, but if that won't uh, deter you too much, I highly recommend it. It's really, really great. Um, just kind of like the the short synopsis is um, there. The human race is kind of like sequestered behind these walls because outside the walls, devastating. You're exactly right. Outside these walls are these just like huge humanoid creatures called titans and they're just like really weird and you don't really know what their deal is and i don't know what their deal is yet either but i know you learn more as the series goes um and they eat people so it's kind of like they're at war with this race of giants that just eat people based on instinct it's not even like malicious on their part really so it's really it's really devastating especially because just the people in the series feel so helpless. Um, but it's a great show. Again, if you uh, can weather the sadness, highly, highly recommend it. Um, okay, I don't think this Zubat has wing attack or anything. So folks, we are kind of, we're approaching, voice acting and animation are indeed top notch. I am totally with you there. I'm, I'm very impressed by a lot of the vocal performances. Um, I mean the animation as well but the vocal performances in particular and it's really become kind of like one of those touchstone anime shows like one of the true greats you know um, and I know anime is becoming way more popular just in just in America at all because I remember when I was growing up you know, a lot of us kids like, ooh. Ah, we have a rival here. Didn't I tell you I was going to destroy Team Rocket? Oh yeah, he doesn't like Team Rocket for some, for a reason he never says. Tell me, who was the guy in the cape who used Dragon Pokemon? My Pokemon were no match at all. I don't care that I lost. I can beat him by getting stronger Pokemon. That's what he said that bothers me. He told me that I don't love and trust my Pokemon enough. It's true, dude. It's true. You lost to a bleeding heart like him. Maybe you should listen does even more mean guy stuff. <laughs> he does more mean guy stuff. Can you believe it? He never learns. <laughs> I don't have the time for the likes of you. Shoves me out of the way! Come on, man. Don't take it out on me. I know you're hurting on the inside. Um, so as I was saying, growing up, a lot of, you know, my friends and people loved, like, Dragon Ball Z. So we enter those two passwords, Raticate Tail and Slowpoke Tail, and that's how we get through this door. But now, there's this guy. What? Who are you? This is the office of our leader, Giovanni. Since disbanding Team Rocket three years ago, he has been in training. But we're certain he will be back someday to assume command again. That's why we're standing guard. I won't let anyone disturb this place. I love the Team Rocket story in this game. But, oh, first, my first point. 
Dragon Ball Z was like super huge. A lot of people liked it. But like liking other anime, it was kind of like hard to access or it was considered like weird or it was on like Adult Swim or something late at night. Um, so we should be able to knock out this Zubat, but I am going to switch out because I don't want to get too stupidly confusion destroyed. Um, but now anime is just so much more mainstream and so many more people um, can enjoy it and feel comfortable enjoying it, which I love. So if we're coughing, we're going to go out to one of our bulkier Pokemon in case it decides to explode, which can always be a huge problem. Toonami was a godsend. I wasn't allowed to stay up that late back then, yeah. Because um, Toonami was a, bl a block on Cartoon Network that played kind of like action shows or anime like Dragon Ball Z. That's like what I specifically watched on Toonami was Dragon Ball Z. Um, but what I was saying about the Rocket story in this game, this game really functions as a sequel to the Generation 1 games. And Team Rocket, Giovanni isn't here. But you have this kind of like faction of Team Rocket trying to work underground and trying to like bring him back. Like, come back, leader. Like, we need you. Um, and I think that's a really cool idea um, for the sequel. And a lot of people are just like, it's just knock off Team Rocket. But I, I think it's I think it's cool. Um, Giovanni, forgive me. No, I can't let this affect me. I have to inform the others. Ah. So, I'll save us a little time. Rest in peace, Akira Toriyama. Yes. Um, that was the creator of Dragon Ball. Um, he just died recently, very recently. A week or two ago. Um... So, there is another door that we need a password for, and it doesn't explicitly tell you, but if you talk to this Murkrow, Murkrow, the password is, Hail Giovanni! So, Murkrow is kind of like a parrot there, um, so it tells you the password. And I think we have just enough time to beat the Rocket Hideout tonight, I think we can do it. Um, because we just really have one more leg of the journey. So we have to go back to the beginning, and if you recall, we passed by these two fellas, and there's that door there. So when we give them the password, um, this is kind of a big battle. I think Lucius can be in the front. So that Murkrow tells you the password, but hold it right there. So we have these two. This is not Jesse and James. They're kind of coming at you like Jesse and James. Can't have a brat like you on the loose. And they're kind of, like, based on them a little bit. It's harmful to Team Rocket's pride, you see. However strong you may be, you can't take both of us at the same time. Sorry, baby. Now get ready to be thrashed. Wow. Um, another area you wandered around forever. Yeah, because they don't really explicitly tell you. I love this. Whoa, get out of the way! Love that. Hey, don't be so selfish. Spread the fun around. That's a pretty sick line, honestly. Love Lance there. Um, yes. You are so right. In the remakes, they kind of, like really nudge you toward the, well, not nudge you, they force you to get the password before leaving the room. So, explicitly so you don't wander around forever. Where's your sense of honor? As the interim boss in place of Giovanni, I'll show you how wrong it is to meddle with Team Rocket. Interesting. So, this is a through line in this game. This is a Rocket executive, and she's like the unofficial boss here. Um, you know what? I'll save it. I'll save it for later. But just notice her red hair. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, just, just notice her red hair. Um, I am getting a spam call. But that's okay. We gotta beat Team Rocket. Don't they know? Don't they know? So this Arbok shouldn't be able to do too much to us, especially with our really powerful... Ah, yes, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Um, they definitely, in the remakes, they enforce the idea a lot more. But again, in these first two gens, that's just a little nugget of lore that they don't give you the full story on. Not explicitly, anyway. But, uh, I'll just tell you. <laughs> so, kind of a not-so-well-kept secret is that, like, maybe is that the rival is Giovanni's son. And maybe, just maybe, Giovanni had a little something-something going on with this other Rocket executive. 
and she passed her red hair down to their son. Um, and that is something that you really have to like read between the lines on, but it makes total sense. And the rival hates Team Rocket, um, but he never said scandal. You're right. Um, the rival hates Team Rocket, but you never really learn why, at least in this game. Um, in the remakes, there's like a little episode where you kind of like explicitly learn that he's Giovanni's son. Um, but in this game, they don't like out and out tell you. So we have this Murkrow here. We're just going to go to Margo. You are correct, yeah. Um, Pokemon Generations is like a... Um, it is uh, kind of like an alternate anime for the Pokemon, uh, for Pokemon, and see this Murkrow is using Pursuit, but it's not going to do enough, not to our Margo, um, and they cover some kind of like alternate stories that aren't like Ash and Pikachu, and in one of those Generations episodes, uh, they talk about your rival being Giovanni's son, and that's the, that's the, that's the baby mama, unnamed Rocket Executive, I think in other games her name is Ariana. Boo doo doo, do do do, boo doo doo. Okay, Team Rocket's true power soon enough. Enjoy yourself while you can. Um, that did it. <laughs> Anoyana, yeah, <laughs> Anoyana. Um, so we defeated all uh, the rockets here. Oh yes, he's concerned about your rival. So I saw how well you were doing, so I just hung back. So now we have to turn off the radio signal, and. To do that, we have to make all of these electrode faint. Now, he says it's no fault of the Pokemon, so it makes him feel guilty. For the longest time, I didn't know what these like little red things are. They're supposed to be wires. So these wires are like hooked up to these electrode, and they're powering the machine. Um, so this will probably be the last thing we do tonight, folks. Um, we'll go into Rupert Grunt. Sometimes I like to try to catch the Electrode, but I probably won't today. And a lot of them will totally just explode on you. Um, <laughs> catch all of them, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I honestly, I genuinely don't know if I can, because so many of them explode. Um, oh, there we go. <laughs> don't let them die! Oh, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just killed one. Oh, no. Um, I'll catch one. One, one time I found a shiny one of these Electrode, which is really cool. And this is a pretty cool, like, static encounter, honestly. Uh, okay, defense fell. Ooh, will this one attack kill it? I don't know. Oh, it did. I'm sorry. I promise I'll catch the last one. Um, Alright, I'll catch this last one. Let's see. I won't let you do that. I will paralyze you with Margo. Oh, yeah, because there's a little spot I'll show you guys. I'll probably show you guys next stream um, where you can find Pokemon on these little tiles up to the left. Um, so let's glare you. There we go. Okay. Okay, he flinched. Love to see it. I'm going to use Rage just in case. That was a low roll. Okay, great. We should be able to catch one of these. I got some great balls. Ah! Okay. Alright, get that electrode name ready. Sorry if it explodes. Come on! There it is! Okay, so give me a name for our electrode. Hooray! The more energy it charges up, the faster it gets. It also makes it more likely to explode. Give a nickname to Electrode? Yes, what am I naming our Electrode? Um, let's see. How about Scandal? Scandal! <laughs> it's alright, I'll name it. Um... JJ Bean said scandal when we talked about Ariana, so we'll go scandal. That's funny. Um, okay, so we defeated all the Electrode. So now our boy Lance says, 
that odd signal has fun. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Love scandal. Has finally stopped. The lake should be back to normal. You're the hero! Let me thank you on behalf of all Pokemon. Oh yes, you should take this. So, he gives you the HM for Whirlpool, which we can use to go to the Whirl Islands if we want, if you recall. Um, but you have to have the badge from Mahogany Town, so we need to defeat the gym there. Uh, let's see, SCG, the journey to becoming the Pokemon Master is long and difficult. Knowing that, will you keep going? Ha, huh, I see. No, you're right. If you would give up that easily, you would have never chased that dream in the first place. I look forward to seeing you again. Heck yeah, Lance. Thanks, dog. Um, so I just want to show you this really quick. So if you step on one of these, like, dark spots, you'll run into a Pokemon. Um, he infers a lot, yes. Um, so here you have Electrode, like, uh, like Tech said, you can find, like, Geodude here. Oh, you can't escape at all. You have to defeat him. Oh, that's interesting. I actually didn't know that. Um, but, uh, there we go. So now, but now if you step on this little tile, it takes you right back to the beginning. So from there, we'll hop out of here. All right, we went, uh, we went a little bit longer than we usually do, but, uh, I'll go ahead and call it now, guys. Um... Now that we're out of the rocket hideout. Um, so now we can do a few more things. We can defeat a couple more gyms. We might battle some trainers to get our levels up to where they need to be. Um, but other than that, I will see you guys later this week. Um, I think I'm playing it on Wednesday. I think that'll be good. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching it. Have a great rest of your day. Sounds good. I'll catch you then too, man. Thank you. Um... But uh, if I catch you on YouTube, that's amazing. Um, if, I, if I catch you here next time, that sounds great. Um, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Have a good night, folks. Peace.